Hello and welcome to another video of Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. In this video, I would like to uh, explain some of the terms of Silky Peaks Developer Studio. Also, Silky Peaks Developer Studio is known for um, some weird uh, photography terminologies for their tools. Um, I would like to clear that air. Um, let's get into this. For instance, in this photo, um, first of all, I like this photo because I took it in Berlin. Uh, this church is actually destroyed in World War II. Um, highly recommended if you like to go and visit. I will uh, put the name in the description below. Anyway, let's jump into it. Uh, on top, you have all the tools, uh, the, some of the common tools that you might see in, um, in other softwares. Not much different. Uh, thumbnail mode. Uh, browsing mode, uh, full screen, and you can compare with same photo or uh, other photos if you like to. Um, totally up to you. Here you have all the warnings, uh, different warnings, uh, sh highlight shadows, etc. Uh, generally, I don't touch them at all. You have many tools. Uh, the one tool that I really like, uh, which is gray balance tool, which is the white balance tool. If you have gray card in the photo, um, you can drop it on the on the gray card and fix the white balance up to you this is the rotate um, time to time i use them obviously here you have a develop button which is basically export yeah, if you like to export your photos uh, that's the button that you need to look for in the, this side however this is the interesting one because you know there are moments that i was actually lost pretty simple when you get used to it but not always obviously um, if you don't know uh, where to look for now obviously you have histogram um, pretty typical thing pretty typical tool to look at um, I don't want to get into the details there are many tutorials are available in YouTube to have a uh, have a look however here you have a button called parameters and taste normally they show there you go uh, taste and parameters the parameters is basically setting that's the whole thing is parameter and the taste which is preset and initialize it means reset so if you do an edit or some edit for example you have done, uh, put up the exposure a little bit but you want to go back to your um, original um, edit you can click and it should do the job for you uh, there's other way to do that which is here but that's temporary you can click it and then release the button and generally um, you can have a quick look what the original state of the photo or um, and get back to your current edit you also have let's get back to the original edit auto adjustment uh, basically it's the auto button you click it and generally and usually that should give you um, a decent result you probably have to tweak here and there for instance my highlights are clipping in this particular area so probably you click uh, your auto adjustment and then just fix your uh, highlight mm, that should do the job originally um, I usually click auto adjustment uh, for most of my travel videos and then do a little bit of tweaking here and there. Interestingly enough, if you have if you have a Fuji file, you can actually click into the color and then go to the profile. Go to the film simulation and actually you can use all the Fuji film simulation in Silky Peaks Developer Studio. As a matter of fact, these Fuji film simulation are the Fuji film simulation that you would have gotten in your camera. It does give you exactly the same color. Capture One, however, has the same film simulation provided by Fuji, but Capture One tends to crush the black a little bit more than necessary where in silky pigs are amazing to give you the good look for instance here i have the velvia and i'll need to um, up the exposure just a little bit because it's a little bit underexposed um, so i should fix it and the result should be exactly the same as fuji fuji films um, jpeg that's brilliant anyway moving on white balance so you do have a, a traditional white balance obviously 
Um, uh, but here you have the color deflection. Color deflection is tint. I do understand why they use that term color deflection instead of tint because they in the whole software they did use classic typical photography term that only exists in books. Uh, today uh, people generally don't use them and hence the confusion. It's a fine color controller. The fine color controller uh, literally means that you can control each color uh, channels individually so let's say you have uh, the blue it's not really blue I think it's magenta which you can control by clicking here or if you're confused about what color is that you can put your pointer on that color and you should see there is something moving pay good attention here you go I'll show you again here as you can tell there is a button there's a dot that's moving around there you go as you can see so I'm in the right place now check this out I can change the hue of that particular look I, I should zoom in take a quick look, good look at that so that's the hue so you can go all the way up as you can tell it changed so that's brilliant so you can change individual colors so usually in capture one I think it's called color channel controller or in DxO Photo Lab, you should have it as HSL, I believe. I think that's about it, guys. I highly recommend you use this software because you probably have it for free if you have a Fuji software or Panasonic, and I believe Pentax and um, Olympus. Uh, you should have this bundled with your camera. If not, you can download it for free from their website. And if you like their full version, you can definitely buy their full version uh, from their website as well. Mm, they give fantastic color uh, only complaint I have against this software is the speed because it takes a little bit of time to render the photo sometime but if you are looking for good color good quality good sharpness and good noise reduction highly recommend go for it you won't regret it that's for it guys and have a wonderful time I'll see you next time bye bye